making one of my mentor's dish. Welcome back everyone. Today we're doing a dish that is so particular to me because it was invented by a chef that I've been admiring, that make me want to do what I do and I look up to, Michel Bra. He invented what we call the fondant au chocolat. A shell that holds barely really good amount of runny chocolate. It is simply so delicious and I don't think I need to say much more because it is super super simple to make only five ingredients and worth everything. Two things are meant to be done for us to get cooking and for you as always to smash that subscribe button. Let's go. We're gonna start by grabbing a really good chocolate. I'm using 70% dark and I'm gonna add the butter. I will then place it on top of a double boiler to melt. In the meantime, I'm gonna grab my eggs, try to get organic as much as you can. And we're gonna also add the caster sugar. We're gonna whisk that until frothy. We're gonna then go back to our chocolate and see if it's melting. And you might wonder why I did not dice the butter smaller is because I want to be able to control the temperature of the chocolate and having the butter larger obviously will make that easier. All right, now that it's melted, we're gonna add it to our egg and sugar mix and we're gonna whisk it until it thickens. It'll take about 30 seconds. From here, we're gonna start sifting the flour onto our chocolate mix. And then when we have sifted, we're gonna start whisking starting from the center so we don't have any lumps. And then we're gonna make sure the batter is nice and smooth, just like so. From here, I'm gonna grab my two ring molds that I've lined up with some parchment paper and I'm gonna fill them three quarter of the way. You could freeze them and cook them, but I'm gonna go straight in at 450 for about 13 minutes. Once cooked, I'm going to let them rest for about three to four minutes before I unmold. Please note, these rings are pretty big and that will be enough for two people so the perfect sharing dessert. Now I'm just gonna remove the paper and crack it open. And here we have it, such an iconic dessert, one of my favorite because I love chocolate. The moment of truth is soon, but if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. And as always, I will put the recipe in the description below. I'm going to try it as I mentioned, so we'll see you on the next episode.